Today we're taking a look at the Creality High 3D printer. So this here is a really, really cool, nice compact 3D printer that has been doing an amazing job over my last few weeks of testing it. Now you can upgrade this right here or you can get the combo with it to where you can do a multi-color print up to four colors or more. But I just go ahead and chose to go ahead and just get the one color for right now to really, really test it out. But maybe later on down the road, we'll go ahead and do the multicolor setup. So let's go ahead and jump in and uh, talk about this little tool. The bed size of the Creality High is 260 by 260 millimeters by 300 millimeters. So that does give you a pretty nice bed space for the majority of products that you probably want to do. It can handle a majority of filaments and most of them are probably gonna be for the average homeowner of what you probably want to put together for your projects or you know maybe you're starting your own business or want to create your own mini print farm now the speed of the creality high is has really really impressed me in fact i'm able to knock out a lot of projects on this little printer than what i can on a bigger printer that i also have and the print speed that you're seeing right behind me this is the normal speed and you do have the ability to adjust those speeds now you can print directly from the Creality screen over here, which is really, really nice and easy to read, which is nice and beginner friendly. So if you have not jumped in to 3D printer yet, whew, this right here might be the best opportunity for you. You can print directly from their app and you can also look at the camera because one is also included over here on the side. So you can go ahead and monitor your projects. Plus it also does a time lapse for your project too. So that way you can see what happens during your project, see your long-term builds, which is really, really cool, especially for the, your big builds. But more importantly, you can also use that for your social media content if you do things like what I do. Now you're probably like, oh, okay, that's great. I can do it from my phone. I can do it on the screen. I can plug in a USB onto it to bring my projects over. But can I do it from my computer? Absolutely. And in fact, Creality has their own slicer that is completely for free. Go ahead and download with it to where you can go ahead and basically import any kind of STL file directly in there, slice it all up, and then you're good to go. It'll go ahead and send it directly over to the printer, either as a project, or you can also send it to the printer itself to actually save on the screen. That's great if you are looking to print that over and over again and don't have to go back to your computer again to go ahead and print it all up. I will say the slicer is actually pretty beginner friendly. So if you have never used a slicer before, just a couple of little like videos and everything else, little tutorials might be able to get you up to speed but overall it's pretty easy to use. You'll be able to print your own project in a matter of minutes. Speaking of minutes, you know how long this thing took put together? It took me about 17 minutes total to actually put this thing here together. And it's literally just adding onto the frame to the base with a couple of screws on both sides, screws in the back, and then you just go ahead and put your holder up there. And that is basically it. Oh, plus you also attach the screen, but that's like 15 seconds on its own. Now, do I think the Creality High printer is a good printer, especially for beginners or intermediate or higher level than that? Yeah, I absolutely do. This thing here actually runs pretty quiet overall. So if you don't want like a really, really noisy printer, but you also want one that gives you a nice, easy to read screen display over here, like on my screen, it directly tells me 75% of my print is almost done. You can kind of see how fast this printer here runs for me, which I absolutely love. And you know, the ease of using the slicer on the computer itself is always a thumbs up for me. If you guys wanna check it out for yourself and the current deals that they might have going on, I do have links down in the description down below. Let me know what kind of 3D printer that you currently have too. And if you already have a 3D printer, I also put my suggested filaments and any kind of deals I have down in the description down there too. So you can also check out those filaments as well. If you guys enjoyed this content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button over here. Don't forget to like the video because then YouTube will say, hey, I like 3D printing and they'll send you more videos like this one, even if it's not mine. And we'll see you guys on the next one.